Sigo diciendo lo mismo, porque no me deja meter esto en... Tal Por favor Dijo oh. que es el carnicero, pues puede ser Vale Vamos a dar una vuelta por ahí Señora Usted no vale Por aquí tampoco Me encanta porque es como que va lento pero rapidísimo el hijo de puta Vale Va por aquí Ah, por allá. Hola, señor. Pero por aquí creo que no va a haber nada. Hola, señora. ¿Qué sí? Que está a simple vista, pero el problema es... Esa simple vista, simple vista de de, de, de... ¿De qué punto? ¿Eh? ¿A qué eso no sabes contestármelo? Pues eso. Qué mal rollo ten, eh, tenerte, ¿eh? Es como que en cualquier momento me vas a apuñalar. ¿A que sí? Coño. Esquizofrenia. Sí. What? Didn't you once tell me that answers usually lie in plain sight? Los agentes de de Mayforof, Mycroft. ¿Cómo coño es un agente de Mycroft? Lo ha dicho como muy rápido, muy directo. Sí, no, porque tiene que ser una pista concreta que te está dando el juego, en plan... Muy posiblemente has pasado por al lado. Y en plan, lo sé. El problema es... ¿Qué lado? Que no hay nada. Ahora aquí hemos vuelto al punto de partida. Vale. I can't help you with that, sir. Vale. Could you help me? I can't help you with that, sir. May I ask you something? Excuse me, what? I'm not sure I know. Can I ask you a question? I can't help you with that, sir. Vale, tengo que preguntar a señores así, entonces. Excuse me, just one question. Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Vale, 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 sí, 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 sí. Have a look at my flowers. They will not bite unless you touch their thorns. Ok, a ver. Eh, Criptografía. 
Tu așa vezi de cripto? No. Can I ask you a question? I can't help you with that, sir. May I ask for your assistance? I can't help you with that, sir. Señor, voy voy a hacer esto con todos, eh? Could you help me? Excuse me, what? I'm not sure. O sea, I know. Mel. May I ask you something? Excuse me, what? I'm not sure I know. Excuse me, just one question. I can't. Señor. Can I ask you a question? Excuse me. Con alguna tienes que decirme algo. May I ask for your assistance? I can't. Daré por hecho. Help me, please. Excuse me, what? I'm not sure I know. Help me, please. I can't. O o no. Can I ask you a question? Excuse me. What? I'm not sure I know. Can you satisfy my curiosity? I can't help you with that, sir. Are you able to help me? I can't. O no. Are you able to help me? I can't help you with that, sir. You stay? Can I ask you a question? No, I don't know anything about that. Can I ask you a question? It's a shame, but I can't help you. Excuse me, just one question. I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Ask you a question. I wish I could be of help, but I can't. Sorry. Huh. Senor. Do you know anything about this? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Huh. Claro, porque si, si me quito esto ya no puedo preguntar a nadie, ¿verdad? Exacto. Can I ask you a question? I can't help you with this. May I ask for your assistance? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Is this familiar to you? It's a shame, but I can't help you. May I ask for your assistance? I don't think anyone here knows the answer. You should ask someone else. Huh. Could you help me? No, I don't know anything about that. Excuse me, just one question. Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Is this familiar to you? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Hmm. Oh, caballo. Didn't you once tell me that answers usually lie in plain sight? Do you know anything about this? Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Could you help me? It's a shame I can't answer your question. Huh. Are you able to help me? Excuse me, what? Well, I'm not sure I know. Could you help me? I wish I could help, but I know nothing. Help me, please. No, I don't know anything about that. Huh. Is this familiar to you? Excuse me, what? Well, I'm not sure I know. Mm. 
Vale, vamos a preguntar al crío Directamente ¡Niño! Ah. El niño no me quiere contestar Puto niño mierda Can you satisfy my curiosity? No, I don't know anything about that. En el nombre del catálogo de plantas eternas para un amor eterno. Varios libros sobre criptografía sobre el mostrador de Barnes. Los libros están desgastados y no están a la venta. Los ha consultado con frecuencia y hecho anotaciones. Ok, Demon. Señora, voy a hacer la mierda. Ahí. Help me, please. Sorry, sir, I can't help you. Can I ask you a question? It's a shame, but I can't help you. Falta este, el testimonio de alguien. Can you satisfy my curiosity? As much as I'd like to help you, I know nothing about this. No nos hemos encontrado como a uno muy distinto al resto. Excuse me, just one question. No, sir, I've never heard of it. Can you satisfy my curiosity? It's a shame, but I can't help you. Me suena que nos hemos encontrado una persona como muy rara.
Excuse me, just one question. Grace, the Shima can't answer your question. Didn't you once tell me that answers usually lie in plain sight? Eh? Yeah. Ask for your assistance. I wish I could help you, but I don't know. Pensaba que el chavalín estaba fumando. Que, que para esta época sería normal, pero. Excuse me, what? I'm not sure I know. Hmm. Vale. Pensemos. Pensemos. Lo primero que hay que pensar es en qué pista fijarnos, ¿vale? Al final eso es el, puto el punto más importante. Claro, al final, ten en cuenta eso Es eh, Lo primero que, que vamos a tal <risa> ¿Sabes? Tenemos todas estas pistas Que todavía no están descartadas Si sí, todas estas ya las tenemos Y hemos dicho Hemos dicho que somos subnormales O sea Dije, lo de las flores muertas es como lo que más sentido tiene Y tiene que ver con esta señora porque Como, como que el punto estaba aquí al lado Encouraging people to stop and smell the roses. Our national emblem. God save the Queen. It must take patience and care to produce a bloom so beautiful. I imagine so. I merely sell them. Eh? The pot is damaged. The blow was severe, but softened by something. Familiar spy. This is what I found in my dustbin. Anything tickle your fancy, Mr. Holmes? A ver, señora, vamos a hablar. 
¿Qué más maquillaje? ¿Por co eh, coquetería o para cubrir el cansancio? Eh, mirada distante, evitar el contacto visual o está distraída. Tela de lujo, poco común para la ropa de trabajo. Broche de luto, en honor al marido fallecido. Botas limpias, eh, se ha cambiado de calzado al llegar. Vale, la señora Fleming lleva un broche de luto en recuerdo de su difunto esposo. El vestido está hecho con una tela cara que no es apropiada para trabajar. Su calzado no tiene restos de barro. Debe de habérselos cambiado cuando llegó. Sus ojos eh, inspeccionan, inspe inspeccionan la calle constantemente, como si estuviera buscando algo. Quizá esté esperando a alguien. A la vez que la señora Fleming alberga el recuerdo de su difunto esposo, está intentando pasar página, como sugiere el maquillaje y el bonito atuendo que lleva. Quizás se haya vestido para atraer la atención de alguien o simplemente porque ha aprendido que quererse a sí misma es... Eh, de nuevo. O a un conduelo. La señora Fleming usa maquillaje para ocultar las mejillas manchadas por las lágrimas. El vestido está hecho con una tela cara que no es apropiada para trabajar. Su calzado no tiene restos de barro. Debe haberse los cambiado cuando llegó. Si bien intenta ocultar su pesar vistiéndose de forma extravagante, sigue llevando el broche de luto del recuerdo de su difunto esposo. Su mirada, siempre perdida en la distancia, revela un desapego emocional. Sí. Esto me cuadra más. En conjunto, se puede concluir que la señora Fleming se sigue resintiendo una trágica pérdida. My condolences, Mrs. Fleming. Mr. Holmes. Your husband's death. You're clearly still in mourning. Oh, no. I loved him more than anything, of course, but that was some time ago now. Life goes on. A lesson we all learn, one way or another. Vale. Es rojo, rojo oscurete. I'm afraid I can't help with that, Mr. Holmes. Are you sure you're asking the right person? I'm just a flower seller. One of these things is not like the other. Come again? The cactus. Those fearsome spines can prove a devil to remove. And the sap is often toxic. And a rose thorn can give you tetanus, but we still grow them. The cactus seems comparatively harmless. Though you have me thinking it must be valuable. I was under the impression that you knew its price already. Your guess is as good as mine. The first time I saw this cactus was when I came back from my break. Vale, cuando lo vi en su en su descanso. I'm afraid I can't help with that, Mr. Holmes. What do you make of the flowers in Barnes shop window? Well, they could use a bit of water. Do they mean anything to you? Mean anything how? I'm not sure I follow Mr. Holmes. Why do you think they're there? Are you suggesting the flowers are for me? It seems likely, does it not? Oh, I hope you're right. Are you familiar with Mr. Barnes? Yes, no, not really. Well, in a way. What on earth does that mean? I know who he is, of course, but we haven't shared much more than a look. A look? Yes. Each morning I go for a walk in the park with my dog, and most days I spot Mr. Barnes there with his new puppy. So we see each other. Actually, we once met briefly while our dogs played. He was quiet and seemed unsteady as he approached. But since then, 
We've never spoken. I often see him staring through the shop window. Sometimes I wonder what he thinks about that would edge such longing onto his face. Have a look at my flowers. They will not bite unless you touch their thorns. Okay. Esto o la rosa. Señor Barnes está en morado. Eh, ama a la señora Fleming. Barnes encibe un ramo de flores muertas para atraer la atención de la señora Fleming. Eh, florista. Espera que ella entre en la tienda o le dé consejos de riego o puede que sea solamente una señal de su desesperación. Burns el regaló de forma anónima el cactus que pidió por el catálogo de su mostrador. Una elección cuestionable, pero para Burns un símbolo de su amor eterno, ya que en el catálogo dice que estos cactus son inmortales. En pocas palabras, el mismo cactus que dejó caer sobre The Stands eh, fuera del 221B eh, de la calle Baker Street Pasemos ahora a la historia completa. Vamos a ver. Claro, pero por. I uh, think perhaps I have been chasing shadows. Do not despair, Mr. Holmes. Even the best of us make mistakes. We better tell Mr. Barnes what we've learned. Mr. Barnes, I know what you did, and I know why you did it. I'm sorry, Mr. Holmes. Can't hear you very well from behind the door. You ordered a cactus from the plant catalog and then left it for Mrs. Fleming as a gift. You place flowers in the window to get her attention and wear high heels to appear taller and more desirable. You are her secret admirer. Hostia. I couldn't read this morning's edition of The Strand because it was covered in soil and spines. I know you dropped a cactus on it and then fled. Barnes, it's Dr. Watson. Rest assured we are not interested in disclosing your personal affairs to anyone, including Mrs. Fleming. Please come out. Uh, all right then. La verdad es que ha sonado a muerte eso, eh. So, you know what happened then? I was on my way back from the post office having picked up the cactus and some books. It was quite an awkward package, heavy too, and when I got to your door I dropped the cactus in your paper. Forgive me. I needed that paper to prove a theory and prevent a crime. Your actions were rather disruptive. Your clumsiness carrying the post is matched only by the clumsiness of your romantic gesture. Oh, it's true. I am useless with this sort of thing. I'm not even sure if Mrs. Fleming noticed. I have neither the experience nor the interest in navigating the finer sex and their peculiarities. Do what you will. Oh, right. Yes, of course. So, at last, we return to the matter of the paper. I'm investigating a string of burglaries. Did you perhaps read of any before the edition was spoiled? I don't recall, but you're welcome to read our copy for yourself. You had an issue of the Strand here all along? Well, naturally. I am a bookseller. I have a subscription to every magazine and newspaper in London. So you ought to be familiar with the concept of burying the lead. I... Oh no, uh, my apologies, Mr. Holmes. I'll make it up to you however I can. I am an expert on obscure languages and translation and... and uh... Yes, yes, okay. Just give me the paper. Vale. Eh, 28 de septiembre de 1882. Eh, explosión de satélite sacude el puerto. Los lugareños del puerto de Londres se despertaron sobresaltados anoche. Con fuertes estallidos y un humo rojo que interrumpió su descanso. El barco mercante Motzke... Eh, arribó al muelle número 3 por la tarde en su ruta hacia Europa 
cuando se sucedieron varias explosiones de con, eh, que conmocionaron